Friends, family, welcome. We are glad that you have chosen to be here today to witness the joining and marriage of Blake Andrew Johnson and Stephanie Nicole Gonzalez. I'd wait forever if that's what it takes just for one day together. But we fly away and we find all our dreams woven up in the stars. Dear Blake, in a few hours, I am going to walk down the aisle to a strong, godly, and handsome man. You have always amazed me from the very beginning, from how you love others to how you make me laugh uncontrollably daily. It feels like yesterday we were both in 10th grade dreaming about this day, and it is a reality beyond what we could have ever imagined. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, wow! Let's get lost wow. in a day Stephanie. I cannot believe that today is the day we are getting married. It does not feel real. As I write this, I think about all the years we have hoped, prayed, and dreamed about this moment. From the day we started dating, I knew you were the one. And over the past five years, I have never doubted that for a second. I cannot thank God enough for you. You are such an amazing blessing that I do not deserve. The main goal of this afternoon is to glorify God and enjoy His goodness together. How are you? <laughs> are you nervous? Right now, no. But I will be probably. Are you? Um, no. You're really not nervous? No. Good. Blake. I pray that I am a wife who is selfless, caring, and honoring to the Lord. I love you more than you could ever know. Sincerely yours, Stephanie, soon to be Johnson. As we enjoy his goodness, we are going to enjoy the fact that his kindness has brought Blake and Stephanie together. So as we honor Blake and Stephanie today, we honor and worship God who orchestrated this event in the holy institution of marriage. Stephanie, as we step into this new stage of life, I do so with confidence. Confidence because I know beyond a shadow of a doubt that you are the woman I am meant to spend the rest of my life with. I promise to always love you, I promise to always cherish you, and I know we will face challenges and hardships. I know life will not always be easy, but I am so thankful to have you by my side. I ask that the Lord allows us to grow all together and that 60 years from now we will pull this letter out of our closet and be able to reflect on the long life we have had together. Two hearts about to be brought together as one. Bless Paco, bless Sebi, bless their their togetherness, bless their home, their marriage, Father. And let all things be done to thy glory and the glory of thy Christ, in whom we ask we give thanks. Amen. Amen. Well, based on the charge that you've received today, and based on the vows, that you have taken in the sight of God and these witnesses today, I pronounce you husband and wife. And what God has joined together, let no man separate. Blake, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Blake Andrew Johnson. As the majority of you know, Blake and Stephanie met at CHA. 
On the first day of school, when she got in the car, our mother asked her what she thought of CHA and the people there. Steph had a response our mom was not expecting. She said there is a handsome tall guy in her class and that he would be her boyfriend, no doubts about it. <laughs> Little did she know that Guy wouldn't just become her boyfriend, he would become her husband. And as everyone knows, Stephanie always gets what she wants, right Blake? <laughs> When we were younger, we, we found out that we had to move to Fredericksburg. We just had a hard time, and Blake had just started dating Stephanie, and, and just knowing that he had to leave her was, was really hard on him. And so kind of as my way to ease the tension, because I hated seeing him so sad and upset, um, I made him a $20 bet that there would be plenty of other girls to date. So Blake, I have the $20 right here. Um, and I just, <laughs> I just want that to be a reminder to you guys that you guys have loved each other from the very beginning, and I know you guys will love each other to the very end. So obviously, weddings are a time that you that you reflect. Uh, I look at Blake, and uh, son, to say I'm proud of you is an understatement. I'm so proud to be your dad. I'm proud of everything you've accomplished. Stephanie, you, you have blessed our family. You have been another blessing in that list of blessings. If you would, please raise your glasses to Blake and Stephanie. I can't wait to see what the Lord has in store for us. I love you, Stephanie, always. <laughs>